pretty windy day today, so I'm going to work on the sawmill. Um, I'm going to make my own uh, winch roller system with the ramps like I did on the trailer. Um, this is going to attach to the sawmill. It's, uh, I've, it's probably been in my videos a few times. I saved it off of a welding trailer we bought. Um, it was what he used to hold his tanks on there. But what I'm going to do is just cut some notches out here so that it fits down um, right in between the bunk. Um, should work great. Uh, that'll keep it from, you know, when the log's pulling on it like that, this will butt up against the bottom of the rail. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, cut it off. Um, not really sure if I'm going to make a little V cut here and pull it backwards some uh, just to give us an angle, but probably not. I'll probably just put a plate on it and be done. If I have to readjust my chain, I readjust it. So let's go for it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's giving some warning lights. Is it still on the whatever kind of cut? No, but it's giving two warning lights. Whatever those mean. It's the rusted stuff. And, you know, it's like those people with the torches. I don't know how they do that because I can't go straight at all on this thing. That looks like an R. <laughs> oh, well. But some of those people with them torches, they just go right. Yep, and it's straight. See if it'll fit now this is gonna go on the middle one here but i have the saw head uh, in place right now so basically it's designed to fit down in here oh yeah i wanted to go on the inside that's right so my slots are not quite big enough there and we just need to make these bigger actually i kind of like that yeah, I just need to cut this one just a little. Actually, it's because I went at an angle. I didn't cut straight, or it'd probably be okay. You can probably see that right there. Um, you see that? Yeah. So I just need to get that little angle out of there, and then it'll slide down in there. And I think it'll be good. Uh, the one you buy from Woodland Mills actually slides in these stake pockets here, um, and then kind of leans backwards. So, but I think this is my whole plan is it's basically going to sit and press against it like that. So let me go clean that up and then we'll dry fit it again. Okay. So I just took another little bit of notch out of it. So basically that's what I, I've got so that it'll go over those four bolts there and wedge in between there. So let's see what we got now. Good deal right there and then when you press on it it's pulling I'm pushing all my weight almost leaning on it and it's not going anywhere and it won't come out this way because it wedges on there so that should work great now I just need to mount my winch on the top up here and then when I move the saw head out of the way I'll put it on this center bunk right above the wheels and I should be able to roll the logs up
just going to eyeball it because that's all I need. That should hold a log. Yeah, I think I'll do another pass on this side. That's where that gap was. Nice gloves you got there. Yeah, safe for police. I think I got it fixed, right? And hopefully all will go well. So I just put it in here. And then when I start winching, there we go. Uh oh. on there though. Go ahead and go this direction. Wow. Oh, that's still hot. Dang. in to hold this uh, we took it apart to get it off and so I'm just gonna do that and then I think one day I will probably get either a longer strap or get some of that rope uh, the synthetic rope but I believe that will work and I have the two ramps that you've already seen in the trailer only thing is was I pulled in wrong I was not thinking correctly and I thought I needed to be on this side of the log but I actually need to be on that side of the log. So I'll have to rearrange. Okay, so I found the spring. I'm gonna fix that. And at least we can get the strap. The strap does have a knot in it, so I probably need to get a new strap for it. This came off of the old boat trailer, that one right there. And um, when I made the winch for the, the lawnmower trailer, I took this winch off and saved it for this purpose. I do have some, well, I did have some extra winch uh, wire that we had on an old harbor freight winch that died and i had it in the corner forever and i was saving it for this purpose but then when uh, philip came and went to uh scrap metal last time i said oh yeah just take that uh, of course now i know why anyway let me get this on there Yeah. 
now my thing works and I can actually wind it up. Okay, good to go. As always, get outside, do stuff yourself. Now this was completely from scrap, so it was free versus the couple hundred dollars it is at Woodland Mills. Now is there as fancy? Yes, and I really like the way that it matches and um, hooks into the bunks and everything, so it's kind of neat. It has a little way to store it, but I can make my own U-bolt and store this one underneath there as well. So all of that's cool, um, but again, I just like making stuff myself. As always, we thank you for watching. Get out there, do something, and we'll catch you in the next video. So that was super interesting. I had bought um, six of these cans of the hammered, hammered green or whatever, because um, it matches the grizzly and stuff. My wife used them to uh, restore the uh, rocking chairs. But anyway, they've been sitting here for probably a good two years, and this is what happens if one of them gets a leak. Got stuck to the box down here. This can is empty and this stuff whatever leaked out the color is still in there somewhere because it's not green so i really don't know what that is if anybody knows what that is can you leave a comment down there in the bottom um i think this can's still okay but this can evidently right here where it's wet must have had a leak or something and left this at first i thought maybe i had uh, left a uh, jar of gorilla glue or something dripping down in there and that's really what it kind of looks like and maybe that did something to the bottom of the can, or it's a leak. I don't really know, but this one's empty, and it was a brand new can stuck to that box. So, whatever it is, if you know, let me know. But I decided to go ahead and paint this so it matches somewhat, and it'll look a little nicer. Um, I had one can left over from my wife's doing, the, uh, doing those rocking chairs, and it was able to almost finish it so I'm just gonna put another coat on here real quick and then I'll call it good because it is gonna get left outside on the trailer or on the sawmill itself all righty there we go okay we finally got it going um, we did have to do some adjustments we've been over here messing for about 30 minutes um, I'm going to have to cut that a little bit more so that it'll slide down in better. Uh, the notches aren't quite deep enough. Um, but it's still got a good inch to a half inch or so, three quarters of an inch probably, that it's catching on the lip, so I think it's fine. It's got the log all the way halfway up here, and then we stopped to get this. A couple of adjustments. Um, definitely good thing we welded these on there for the trailer. Uh, they have to be caught, otherwise the thing slides and the whole trailer starts pulling. So we had to kind of hook these in here. So I'll probably cut these off a little bit better where they actually fit down in here. And then this pipe fits perfectly right there. So it's pretty easy. Once it got onto these bars, it became real easy to winch up there. How's it look on that end over there? Oh yeah, we're gonna even land on that bunk. I didn't think we were. This might be the hard part right here because this log is kind of a, a U. Oh, yeah. It's because we're on a U shape here, so we might have to um, try to give it a little lift because this log has a nice bend and bow, and we're right at that now. So we got a lot of resistance. But um, we're going to try it out. I'm going to have to put the camera down to help him here. We ran out of room, and because, as you can see, this big bow right here, whoop right there good good eight inches or so that it's not even on the bunk here um that's why we had so much trouble with that last bit anyway he was able to just safely in crocs steel-toed shoes and everything just pick up that bar and leverage it up there and we got it on there so a couple more modifications to do so it'll hold better if you do have one of these odd size logs but a standard round or even just probably not quite so bowed as this one would have went right up oh well got it up there have a great week